Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zactivate and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are doing something different on the channel. We're going to run through 50 facts of the new Minecraft item coming to 1.17, Copper. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. We're going to run through them really, really quickly. Uh, hopefully there are some facts that you don't know yet, but uh, I mean, there probably will be. But uh, yeah, just want to uh, t tell you guys this before we get into it. We are in the latest snapshot. That's how we are uh, looking at all of these new items, such as copper and this one. And uh, yeah, before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please wash your hands. It helps you out and helps others out as well. So let's get right into the video. All right, we're going to start off simple and get to the more lesser known facts later on. But uh, so we'll start off with copper is a new ore coming to Minecraft 1.17. It's right here. We are in the snapshot so we can see it. And uh, yeah, it looks beautiful. Copper is stackable and it's stackable in its ore form, its ingot form and its block form. So yes, yeah, 64 of each of these. So so uh, you won't have to worry about inventory management when uh, looking for them. It won't be too hard to find copper because it has the same rarity as iron. So you'll find the same amount of copper as you do iron or around the same. To mine copper, you're going to need a stone pick or better. So make sure you have that just like iron. It's basically the same thing. Mining copper with a stone pick takes about 1.15 seconds. While a stone pick takes 1.15 seconds, which is the slowest time to mine copper, a netherite pickaxe actually takes 0.5 seconds. So yeah, that's the fastest way you can mine copper. Unlike the most recent ore to come to the game, netherite, this ore, uh, copper, is found in the overworld. So yeah, you cannot find it in the nether or the end. The lowest Y level you can find copper at is actually Y4, so really, really deep down. While the highest Y level you can find copper is actually at 63, so basically the surface here. You can smelt copper ore by placing it in a furnace with some coal, and yeah, you can actually get copper ingots like this, just like iron and some of the other ores in the game. But yeah, boom, there's our copper ingot. There is actually a 0.7 chance of you getting an XP point from smelting a copper ore into a copper ingot. Let's see if we could hit that right now and yes we did as you just heard that uh hopefully you did copper ingots can be used to make a couple of things including a copper block a lightning rod and a spyglass to make a copper block you actually only need four ingots unlike the usual nine that you need to make for any other mineral block and uh yeah four ingots makes us one copper block to make a lightning rod you can uh check my video out that i posted a couple weeks ago uh, no, I'm just joking, but uh, yeah, you can check that out if you want to. It's uh, we go into detail about all the lightning rod properties and everything. But uh, yeah, to craft a lightning rod, just three copper ingots like that. All right, so to make a spyglass, you can also check out my video that I made a couple weeks ago. All right, no, but seriously, you can. Uh, or you can check out that video, but uh, seriously, seriously, you can make a spyglass by adding two copper ingots and one amethyst shard, and boom, we have our spyglass. This next fact we're not going to be able to actually look at, but uh, you can take my word for it. It is on the Minecraft wiki. The copper ingot texture was actually changed from the snapshot 20w45a uh, into the 20w46a snapshot. So they actually changed the uh, ingots texture, and this is the new and improved one. All right, so those were some simple facts, but uh, in my opinion, we're getting into the cooler ones right now. So the first fact of this cool section right here, uh, copper blocks actually oxidize over time, and it's the first block to actually do that in Minecraft. Copper blocks actually have different variants, which we will showcase in the later facts. But uh, yeah, each of those blocks or variants have different versions. All right, so these are the four versions of copper blocks. We have the regular copper block right here. Then we have the lightly weathered copper block right here. Then next is the semi weathered copper block right here. And then we have the fully weathered copper block. So uh, yeah, the copper block, four versions within that. And uh, we'll see a kind of a trend with all of these copper variants. The second variant is waxed copper, and I'll get to what it actually is in a second, but uh, you can craft it by just placing a copper block and adding a honeycomb and it will make waxed copper. So yeah, waxed copper is a little different from regular copper. And uh, yeah, the only difference is that it doesn't weather. So once you wax the copper block, it will permanently stay in the state that it's in. The first version is the regular waxed copper block right here. 
The next version is the waxed lightly weathered copper right here. And the third is the waxed semi weathered uh, copper right here. So you can actually not wax the last version right here, the fully weathered copper block, because that would defeat the purpose of waxing it because this is the last state of the copper. So yeah, you can add the honeycomb at any time to wax each of these versions. So you can permanently have some semi weathered copper blocks or some lightly weathered copper blocks or regular copper. Another variant of copper is actually cut copper. And this is what it looks like. Cut copper can be made by just combining four copper blocks to make four cut copper blocks, similar to uh, stone bricks and stone. But copper can also be made at any time during the oxidation process. So right here we have four weathered cut copper. And we'll just take that right into our inventory. So yeah, you can make it during any time of the oxidation process. Similarly to the regular copper blocks, the cut copper blocks have the same variants. We won't count these as facts because we did it already as those so i feel like that would be kind of cheating but uh yeah we'll just go over it really quickly we have the regular cut copper then lightly weathered cut copper semi weathered cut copper and weathered cut copper again uh just like regular copper blocks um yeah cut copper can also be waxed and uh, this is some waxed cut copper right in front of us and yeah, like the regular copper blocks, you can wax the uh, cut copper at any stage of the oxidation process besides the fully weathered because that would make no sense. But uh, yeah, we'll just go over that again just to uh, show you guys the waxed cut copper, the wax slightly weathered cut copper and the wax semi weathered cut copper. All of the cut copper variants that includes the waxed cut copper can be made into slabs and stairs, which is really, really convenient. So the weathering effects on the copper blocks actually take place after a certain amount of Minecraft days. So the initial stage is always going to be the unweathered copper blocks. So to get these variants, you are going to have to wait, um, depending on which block you want, the longer you're going to have to wait. The earliest a copper block can change states is actually after 50 Minecraft days. So uh, yeah, if you're going to want this kind of variant of copper, you're going to have to wait at least 50 days uh, after placing this block down. And uh, yeah, same with these two blocks as well. They're all at least 50 days. So that was the earliest a block can, uh, I guess, transform into the next block or next stage. The latest a block can transform into the next stage is actually 82 days. So uh, yeah, it might not um, oxidize after 50, but uh, can take up to 82 days. So uh, yeah, the longest you have to wait for this block is, let's see, is 82 plus 82 plus 82. I don't really know what that is. Maybe I'll put it on screen if I could do math. All right, so not only do you have to place this block down and wait for it to be weathered, you actually have to be, or the block actually has to be in a loaded chunk. So uh, yeah, that does affect whether the block will oxidize or not. All right, so those are the main uh, weathering facts and all that. The last couple facts are gonna be some, I guess, technical facts. So the next one is actually copper is only out on Minecraft Java right now, but will be on both platforms when 1.17 comes out. The next fact is kind of interesting, and I think I have a reasoning behind it, but I'll explain it after I explain what is happening right now. So as you can see, the copper block, the actual name when it shows up on my uh, hotbar right here is actually copper block. But when you scroll over the diamonds, it says a block of diamond, block of gold, block of iron. But the copper block just says copper block. Now, this could be because the recipe is only four ingots instead of nine. That could be something. I don't know why they would uh, have it just named copper block. But I think it is interesting because it is the only mineral uh, ore block to uh, just have a different name than the rest. The next fact I can't really show off on screen. Hopefully I could put a, a picture up or something. But copper was already in Minecraft, uh, not this uh version it was actually in the education edition but not in the way of actual blocks like this it was actually i believe in an element version on the periodic table hopefully i can get a picture of it from the wiki and put it on screen but uh yeah it's already in the game lastly as of right now the fully weathered copper block actually has a typo in its name so uh, as you can see copper block just look at the k at the end of all these blocks lowercase 
lowercase, lowercase, and uppercase. So there's actually a misspelling, or not a misspelling, a typo with a uppercase K on the weathered copper block, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, it'll probably get changed by the time uh, 1.17 comes around or not. Maybe they'll leave it in as like a little Easter egg or something. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, that was 50 facts about copper. Yeah, so 50 facts about copper. Let me know what you think. Was there anything that you did not know previously? Hopefully there was. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this with uh, the newer items or even the old items uh, in Minecraft. So I definitely uh, am open to doing them. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. As always, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Really, really helps me out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.